Experience with the CF-100 and crew ejection survival had not been that great early on in the aircraft's development. Often the pilot got out, but the navigator did not. It was found that once the canopy had blown off, it was difficult, if not impossible, for the navigator to reach up and pull the ejector release handle. At high speeds, the slipstream would catch the navigator's arms and extend them up over his shoulders, making it impossible to grab the firing handle. To correct this problem, Avro fitted a small, clear plexiglass windscreen behind the pilot's ejector seat to deflect the airstream after the canopy separation. The limits of the CF-100's crew ejection system were to be tragically pointed out in August 1954. On August 23rd, Zurichowski, along with his observer John Hebert, were flying in a CF-100 to test the firing sequence on the experimental rocket pack. During the test, the rockets were fired, but immediately after the pack was retracted, there was a violent explosion in the rear of the aircraft and all flight controls were frozen. Zurichowski immediately gave the order to Hebert to prepare to bail out. He jettisoned the canopy and a few seconds later heard a bang which he thought was John Hebert ejecting. He then proceeded to eject from the stricken aircraft at 2,000 feet. After landing, he learned that John Hebert had been unable to eject and had died in the fiery crash. As a result of the CF-100 problems, when design work commenced on the Arrow project, the ability of the crew to escape was a major concern. After thorough testing and considering the high speed of the aircraft, it was decided that a linked escape system was necessary. The pilot would, with one control, initiate the escape of both crew members. This system would reduce the total escape time to 2.5 seconds and eliminate any possibility of navigator hesitation or refusal. The navigator would also have the ability to initiate an ejection if the pilot was incapacitated. At the Avro plant, one of the static test aircrafts was utilized for test firing of the ejection system using a test dummy. In addition to testing done at Avro, the Martin Baker seat was also tested at a U.S. Air Force facility in southwest Utah. Here, a rocket-powered sled containing the ejector seat was propelled along a two-and-a-half-mile track, and then the test dummy was ejected out over a cliff at the end of the track. <laughs> 